Greetings brothers and sisters, my name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I want to share a word of encouragement concerning readiness that I felt that the Lord gave me. Before I do, I want to ask you a question. Are you ready for the rapture? The return of Jesus for his beloved bride? It's really important to keep in mind that we are the last generation, time is short, and we will experience the events of these last days. I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh. He died on a cross for your sins and mine and rose again after three days for our salvation. I want to start by reminding you that the events we are seeing in these troubles are a d direct result of mankind's sin. God will deal with the issues and he will bring justice. He will uphold the righteous cause of those afflicted. He is for us, and the righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Deuteronomy 32.4 says, He is the rock. His word work is perfect, for all his ways are justice, a God of truth and without injustice. Righteous and upright is he. We see a lot of injustice, falsehood, and destruction going on right now. God has promised that his work is justice and truth. He is righteous in his character. I want to share this word that I felt that he spoke to me. Please feel free to test all words. And here's what I felt he said. My people, my chosen ones, my heart's desire. The world and its pursuits are fading away. Seek me while I may be found. The door has been held open for the lost. The time, however, is drawing to an end. Close your affairs of this age and prepare your hearts for my coming. Principalities and powers are at work in the current effects and affairs of government and realms of influence. I am ruling and I will deal with them. But you, my precious ones, look up, be prepared and single-minded. Your master and Lord will come on the clouds of glory, trumpets blasting, and you will be caught up. Be ready. My heart is longing for my bride. I am calling for my bride's heart. Those who have ears to hear, hear. And that's what I felt he said. We are to be ready, excited, and willing to give full attention to Jesus and his soon return. We all have to live in this world and take care of things daily, and we should focus on the love and treasure of our heart on Jesus. I want to read Psalms 92, which he also gave me to read. Here it is, Psalms 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. I declare to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night on an instrument of 10 strings, on the lute and on the harp, with harmonious sound. For you, O Lord, have made me glad through your work. I will triumph in the work of your hands. O Lord, how great are your works. Your thoughts are very deep. A senseless man does not know, nor does a fool understand this. When the wicked spring up like grass, and when all the workers of iniquity flourish, it is that they may be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are on high forevermore. For behold your enemies, O Lord, for behold your enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered. But my horn you have exalted like a wild ox. I have been anointed with fresh oil. My eye has also seen my desire on my enemies. My ears hear my desire on the wicked who rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree and shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is upright. 
He is my rock, and there is no, un up, no unrighteousness in him. And that was the scripture. God makes a distinction between those who know and love him and those who are against him. Give your life to him. Love him. And we will soon all be together as a family with him in his presence. Get excited. Jesus is coming back. Focus on him in the middle of these world's upheavals. He is the Lord and he is watching over everything. He will bring justice. He will bring upright, uprightness. Thank you for listening. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.